Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, ah, science dummies. Eyebrows. What is it good for? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, eyebrows. You're obviously good for something. Over to our science expert. But of course you are. That's my name, stupid. What's your name? The narrator. Just the narrator? Yeah. No last name? No. That's just bloody weird. What science question have we received today, oh blue one? Mrs. Ramsbottom from Clivero has just texted in and wants to know, what is the purpose of eyebrows? Well, Ever since Einstein invented eyebrows in 1905, eyebrows have been all the rage. Small eyebrows, plucked eyebrows, trimmed eyebrows, and wow, those are bloody big eyebrows. Experts say that eyebrows have two main purposes, keeping moisture out of our eyes and communication. Oh, I'm making you look fabulous. Did you ever notice how your eyebrow hairs grow outward, toward the sides of your face? That helps direct any moisture away from your eyes, towards the side of your head. A bit like a drainage system for the face, or a guttering, diverting rain off a roof. Eyebrows can also reduce the amount of light that gets into your eyes and keeps crap away from them, too. Eyebrows help us express emotions and also helps us in recognizing each other. Eyebrows are an important part of human expression and communication. They allow us to show our emotions. One raised eyebrow expresses skepticism or interest. Two raised eyebrows can express surprise, angled eyebrows can show anger, and one continuous eyebrow could indicate you're a caveman. Beyond looks and emotions, eyebrows are also more generally important for facial recognition. In one 2003 study, scientists asked a group of people to identify the faces of 50 famous people, such as former US President Richard Nixon and actress Winona Ryder. The scientists manipulated the photos so that they'd either have no eyes or no eyebrows. Subjects could still identify the famous faces 60% of the time when they lacked eyes. But, when the faces lacked eyebrows, subjects could only identify them just 46% of the time. Scientists said this indicates that eyebrows are just as important as, or maybe more important than eyes, in allowing us to recognize faces. People literally don't recognize your face without eyebrows, according to a recent study conducted at MIT, famous faces are rendered unrecognizable in the absence of eyebrows, whereas faces without eyes are still identifiable. Back over to Blue. Eyebrows protect our eyes from moisture and light. Physically, eyebrows are there to keep our eyes clean and clear. They move wetness from sweat and rain away from our eyes so that we can see. What role does genetics play in eyebrows? Scientists have established that shape, colour and thickness of your eyebrows are inherited traits. In one major study in 2015 Trusted Source, scientists found a strong relationship between inheritance of specific genes and eyebrow appearance. Four separate genes may affect eyebrow hair texture, one gene may determine eyebrow shape, five genes affect eyebrow hair color, and one gene determines whether or not you develop a monobrow. So, depending what type of genes you wear, your eyebrows may turn out like this. A simple thought experiment shows us that eyebrows are essential in today's society. Just moving those little eye mustaches from one part of your face to another would make updating your social media account on your smartphone very frustrating. Unless you had building work done. Back to Blue. Can humans live without eyebrows? Well, if all that sweat flowed right down into your eyes, you wouldn't be able to see that well, and your eyes would be irritated, which would certainly impair your ability to escape from the monster or the alien 
or next door's cat. Because of this slight survival advantage, nature would most likely select the humans with eyebrows or the humans without eyebrows. It is said that eyes are the windows to your soul. Ooh, mysterious. So that would make the eyebrows the curtains, which keeps the light and crap out. Not actual crap. And that's eyebrows for you. Thanks for watching. Please send us more science questions and don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Bye!